What's up guys, Derek Craig here from Magnus Broadhead. I hope you enjoyed that intro and the turkey footage. We're gonna do a little refresher course on the Magnus Bullheads because turkey seasons have opened up in parts of the country and they're getting ready to open up all over the country as we head into April. So I wanna set you up with the most effective way to bow hunt turkeys that there is. And that's with a head and neck shot with the Magnus Bullhead. <laughs> All right, everybody, so I've got the Magnus Bullheads in my hand as you should buy them. And in my right hand here, I've got the 125 grain. In my left, I got the 100 grain, which are slightly smaller. Now, a couple things you need to know is nothing's really changed over the years. And we've done many of these videos, but I get a lot of questions on when I'm trying to do tech support and online. And so these refresher videos, I think, will help you out. But thing to note is in every single package that there's a DVD. Don't ignore this DVD. This DVD has got a few hunts on it, but mainly it's got a series called Setup to Success. This is also available on the Magnus YouTube channel, so you can view it that way. It takes you from knowing essentially nothing about shooting turkeys with bullheads and getting set up for it to covering probably 95% of everything that you can encounter with them. So let's talk about the Magnus bullhead. So here's the 125, it's on an arrow. We highly recommend our bullhead arrows that we sell with these. This is a Victory V1 arrow shaft. It's 300 spine. We recommend these for people who are drawing 60 pounds and up and want to use a 125 bullhead. We also have a 350 spine version for those under 60. Quite frankly, I shoot around 53 to 55 pounds and I still use the 300 spine. I don't believe that you can have too much spine when it comes to shooting bullheads. Also regarding arrows, we have some people who want to shoot higher poundages or have incredibly long draw lengths, uh, 31, 32 inch draw. It gets very challenging on the 300 spine arrow with the bullhead. For 2021, we have a new high poundage, long draw length arrow that is properly spined for you heavy, poundage and long draw shooters. And all you gotta do is inquire with Magnus Broadheads and we'll set you up with the right spine arrow depending on your setup. So why is the arrow so important when you're shooting bullheads? Well, you've got these giant airplane wings out here on the front and there's a lot of dynamic forces when this arrow is cutting through the air. And those dynamic forces uh, in, induce bending onto the arrow shaft itself. And so you need a really stiff and very straight shaft. And that's where we found that these Victory V1 300 spine arrows are great. And again, we sell these. Also, we four fletch these with feathers on the end and it helps in steering, again, these giant airplane wings that are out here on the front. So will these even fly? Well, when you take a Magnus bullhead and you put it on our bullhead arrow that's four fletched and your bow is properly tuned and set up and you've got everything dialed in and you don't have strong side winds and everything else to outside influence, you can shoot these out to 40 and 50 yards. I have personally shot a drinking bottle at 50 yards and hit it consecutively. So it is up to you in having your equipment tuned and you to practice. And yes, you can take long shots with these. Now, do I recommend long shots on turkeys? No, I like to shoot my turkeys at five, six, seven, eight yards. I've taken turkeys with the bullhead out to 25 yards before, but I don't recommend that. Really, to me, turkey hunting is a close game. So I like them 10 yards and closer, but you can take longer shots with these. So let's talk a little bit about the bullhead itself. Like every other Magnus product, the bullhead is made 100% here in the USA with USA source materials and labor and full assembly. The blades on the bullhead are actually screwed on. You use a number one Phillips screwdriver. And actually when you practice in between shots, we recommend that you torque these down and make sure they're tight. But a simple screwdriver is all that it takes to attach and change the blades. And like every other Magnus product, these bullheads have a lifetime, no questions asked, guarantee, meaning you bend or break or damage these blades or this ferrule in any way, we'll replace it no questions asked. All you have to do is email your information to customer service at magnusbroadheads.com and we will send you free of charge replacement parts or entire heads if so needed. 
So one of the most common questions we get is, how do you practice with a Magnus bullhead? We do not advise practicing with these by shooting them into a bag target like I have mounted over here or a layered target like um, you know, block or black hole or any of those type. You will damage these blades and you will bend them. You will also chew up that target. I would destroy that bag cover in a heartbeat. Uh, same with a layered target. We don't recommend that. The way we recommend you practicing with these is with a pillow. Go to the dollar store, Walmart, wherever, buy the cheapest poly-filled pillow that you can buy. If you spend more than five bucks, you've spent too much money. And then buy yourself a cheap pillowcase and stuff it in there and draw yourself a little circle or a target on it and shoot it. Now, what I actually like to do, because I shoot these a lot, so I go through a lot of pillowcases. The beauty of the poly filled pillow though is you can reuse that poly infinitely anymore i use like old feed sacks or dog food bags or whatever then i don't have to go buy pillowcases and these are plentiful this is just an old corn sack from over the winter from one of my deer feeders and it's got the poly from a pillow in here and i've recycled this poly for years i've been shooting bullheads for over a dozen years and i think i bought three pillows in that entire time so this is just old poly that's stuffed in here. And the beauty of the pillow or the bag or whatever you're gonna use is, when it impacts it, you want this thing to be free hanging and free swinging. This is just a PVC frame I made. I've seen people use clotheslines, hang them off of tree limbs, in door openings, whatever. But you want it to freely swing, okay? So when it hits that pillow, it absorbs all the energy. And you will actually pop through the lead side and this will get caught in the polyfill on the inside and everything will swing and it won't go anywhere. So what do I do then when this is all shot up? Honestly, I take clear packing tape and I wrap it. You can use duct tape, you can do whatever. I can extend the life out of these. In fact, if I flip this around, you can see I was practicing the other day because I changed out the rest on my bow so I was dialing things in and I shot the center out and I've wrapped it up with just some simple packing tape. I get a couple more shots throw a couple more packing tape layers on there and just keep shooting. It's awesome. I'll use maybe one or two feed sacks going into turkey season is all I'll use. All right, so how do we get set up to shoot bullheads? Well, the best way to start is take the same bullhead arrow and put on a field tip of the same weight. If you're gonna shoot 125 bullheads, shoot a 125 field tip. 100s, use a 100. Get your setup tuned. Just shoot into a target. You generally don't need to paper tune these. And the reason why is a lot of us are shooting lower poundage at turkeys because you don't need 70 pounds. And honestly, the bullheads fly better the slower that they fly. So if you're shooting 60 pounds or 55 pounds or whatever, this is going to be an overspined arrow and it's probably not going to paper tune well. So your best thing to do is just go out and shoot. Do some basic walk back tuning, get it all dialed in. Then Take the, the uh, field tip off and put in a regular broadhead. Now, I'd advise you to use a Magnus broadhead because I think the quality is uh, pretty amazing and I'm pretty biased. But take a 125, in my case, uh, broadhead and screw it on. If you're doing the 100 bullheads, do a 100. Shoot it, get yourself dialed in that way. Then jump over to the bullhead on the bullhead arrow and further dial it in. Now, the thing you got to remember is that micro adjustments in your rest will have significant changes when it comes to the bullhead, more so than what you've ever experienced with a regular broadhead. And that's because of all those aerodynamic forces that are going on at the front of this broadhead. So basically that's the Reader's Digest version of what it takes to get shooting Magnus bullheads accurately and effectively for your turkey season. Again, Watch the DVD that's in these packages or watch the video set up to success on the Magnus Broadheads YouTube channel. And we'll walk you through this whole process in extreme detail and help you out. And then you can reach out if you still have problems to myself or Mike Somm with Magnus Broadheads and we will get back with you, whether it's through social media or email, and we'll help you through the final process. I've yet to find a system that I can't tune with this. All right, so let's take some shots with the bullhead. Again, I just swapped out a rest on my turkey bow, so I've had to tune it all in, but I'm gonna show you how well these things fly. All right, so I'm set up here about 10 yards from my target. 
And again, for me, turkey hunting with a bow is a 10 yard and in game. So I'm gonna really focus on that 10 yard and in shot. Here's a field tip into the bag target, upper right dot. And here's a 125 grain bullhead. Now I am going to shoot the deer in the face. And we got my GoPro up there keeping me honest, of course, too. So I'm gonna shoot the deer in the face like he's a turkey. Boom, center punched his forehead right between his eyes. That's a Tom's head coming off right there. All right, so with that, God bless. Have a great turkey season in the spring. Be safe out there. Remember, Magnus Bullheads, we're here for you. Great customer service, technical support. Made 100% in the USA. Zero questions asked, no BS, lifetime warranty on the products. Get them, let's go turkey hunt. Again, be safe, God bless.